Florida is home to some of the best beaches in the nation, but many don't know that we also have one of the most diverse ecosystems, and birds are an important part of it. But the state's rising human population could have a long-term effect on some species. And what that um, can create are conflicts with wildlife, and you know, not only kind of the direct, you know, um, human flushing birds or um, interacting with birds, but it's also the taking of their habitat. And so, you know, um, as we build more developments, develop our coastlines, birds can lose out. For months, environmental agencies have urged the state to create new conservation areas. These areas would block the public's access to nesting sites. On Wednesday, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission approved 13 new CWAs. These are sites that were nominated by various entities because they have important wildlife in a site-specific place that is impacted in a negative way by public use. Critical wildlife areas protect the state's most iconic birds like the Florida Sandhill Crane and the Rosette Spoonbill. These, along with snowy egrets and brown pelicans, are already listed endangered species, making it that much more important to create a buffer between them and humans. The state will post signs surrounding areas where birds nest, feed, mate, and raise their young. Environmental agencies like Audubon, Florida, will also be providing boaters with guides like these. These will contain maps that will tell the boaters where they're allowed to navigate and where they should stay away from. From Tampa, for the Digital Bullpen, I'm Valeria Ruales.